In the next few lessons, we're going to build this 3D space scene. And in this one, we're going to start by just building out the composition within the 3D space. So create a new composition, 1920 by 1080. I'll just call this one space scene so we know what one we're working with. Five seconds is fine. Let's actually make it a little bit longer because I think a little more slower animation might work better for this. Okay, so now let's bring in our different graphics so we can bring them all in at once. So our sun, our moon, our earth, and our asteroid, drag them onto our timeline. And I like to order them in the way that they're going to be positioned in 3D space. So in the back is the sun, in the front is the earth, the moon is behind the earth, and then the asteroid is behind the moon. Right now though, the sizing is all off for all of these files. And that's just because the file sizes for these images are off. If I bring the sun to the top, you'll see that it's a lot smaller than the earth, but obviously in reality, the sun is many, many times the size of the earth or the moon or the asteroid. We can play around with the sizing of things, both with the scale properties, but also with where it is in 3D space. Select all of your layers and turn on the 3D button so that we can play with them in 3D space. I like to start with one object and then kind of move from there. So let's start with the sun. So I'm gonna turn off all my other layers. And now with the sun, bring up your position. And I'm gonna just drag to the right. Now I already did this, so I know that around 20,000 is where we're going to start. So I'm just gonna type in 20 thousand. So now this sun is really, really far away from our camera. Depending on the size of the image though, it might look smaller or bigger. Now for you, it should look like this if you're using the same settings, but a different object might look different. For example, if we bring up the earth really quickly, bring up the position and type in 20,000, you'll see that it's still bigger than the sun, which doesn't make sense because if it's in the same position, the same distance from you, it should be a lot smaller. And that's why when we actually do this, we might scale it down. But the Earth isn't going to be 20,000 points away from us. Let's next bring up the asteroid. So let's press P to bring up our position. And I like to do these things fairly uniform and then play around with them later. So just from what I'm thinking, I'm going to put this at 15,000. Okay. So that's still pretty big, so I'm going to bring up the scale and then scale it down. So I put it at 15,000, which makes it smaller, but if it's not small enough, I can use scale to adjust it. Now with the moon, bring up position. With the moon, it's a lot closer to the Earth than the sun is, or maybe even this asteroid. So I'm gonna put this at just 5,000. Then let's bring up the earth, position, and we'll just leave this at zero actually. The earth though is really big. So I'm gonna bring up the scale, drag it down. So we'll put the earth about this size, so like 27%. And then using these tools, these arrows that pop up from the layer, I can drag it to the right or left. And you'll see if I bring up the position and then I click this X arrow, it adjusts just the X axis. So I can't even move it up or down if I tried, which is a good way to work with your 3D compositions if you don't want to accidentally move it or up or down. If I just click this earth itself without clicking one of these arrows and I try to drag to the right or left, it adjusts both the X and the Y. So let's just adjust this to the left just a little bit. And now we see that the moon is really big. So we're gonna make the moon a lot smaller. So let's take the scale, make it like 50%, and we'll drag the moon a little bit to the right. Something like so. Now, if we take our camera tool, we'll be able to see this a little bit better. But remember, if I just click on the camera tool and try clicking around, nothing happens because we don't have a camera layer. So go up to layer, new, camera, that's fine, those settings. And now I can click around and you can see, you know, kind of what's happening with our layers in 3D space. 
We can also change our view to say the top view. And if we zoom out, let's just do 12%. Actually, let's go to like 3%. What you can see if I use my hand tool to drag up is that you see the different layers. You can see our sun, our asteroid, our moon. Those are just those lines that right now are out of frame. And then our earth is in our composition itself. Let's go back to our active camera, fit up to 100%. So now we have set up our layers in 3D space. Let's make sure that the earth is extended all the way. Next, we're going to add an animation. So that's coming up in the next lesson.